This is a Honda K20 engine from a Acura RSX model year around 2004. This engine with a transmission was purchased from a seller on eBay. It is said to have about 200,000 miles. So one of the things we're going to do before we put this engine into a car is to test the compression on the cylinders. And I'm going to show you how you can do that with the engine and transmission out of the car. One thing to mention is we've made sure that the engine has oil. Engines are usually shipped with all the oil drained out. So before we do the compression test, we check the oil level. And in fact, this had zero oil in it. And we add a few quarts of oil because we do not want to even crank with the crankshaft and rod bearings dry. Also, the engine is strapped down securely to the dolly with a cinch strap. Uh, certainly, we would not want the engine to tip over while it's being cranked. The starter is located underneath the intake manifold. As a first step, I've disconnected the starter from the engine harness. Then I've taken these alligator clip wires. I've put one wire onto the main starter stud and the second wire I've put on the starter solenoid. Down here I have a little starter pack. The red wire coming from the main starter stud is connected to the positive uh, clip on the uh, starter pack and the black wire from the starter solenoid is just free for now. I've also connected the second clip from the starter pack to the body of the starter. Okay, you can see it's clipped onto the starter right here. So now, if I touch this black wire to the positive, it's going to close the circuit and the starter will crank. But first, let's get the compression tester gauge into place. Remove the spark plug for the cylinder to be tested. Thread the compression tester into the spark plug hole. Get it snug. Connect the power and touch the solenoid to the power. It's about uh, between 200 and 210, about 204 pounds. We've done the compression test on all four cylinders. The number we've got is 208 or 210 on cylinder 1, 202 on cylinder 2, 206 on cylinder 3, and 202 on cylinder four. These are very healthy numbers. They're certainly good enough on a 200,000 mile engine. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. And uh, stay tuned for our next video in this Honda K20 swap series.